Hey everybody, it's Stacy, and I'm back with another two minute tidy tip. And today we are tackling something I freaking hate Tupperware. So tip number 23 is all about Tupperware. So hang on tight. I'm a little sensitive on this subject because it just drives me crazy and I'll share with you in a second. So um, I have three tips for you to tackle the Tupperware, whether it's a cabinet or a drawer in your kitchen. So let's go. Tip number one is keep only what you use. I see way too many people keeping a ton of Tupperware, okay? So I want you to take it all out and really see everything that you have. Don't get overwhelmed. This shouldn't be a big deal. And we're just gonna um, take it one step at a time. So take it all on the countertop. Let's find out what we have. Tip number two. I want you to match the lids. So you're going to take it all out and really first thing is go through and see what you can get rid of easily, right? Then tip number two, you're finding all the lids and you're matching everybody to make sure they have a partner, right? Because how many times do we have something that we've just cooked dinner, you're going to send someone home with leftovers, you're trying to clean up really quick and you can't freaking find the lid, right? So let's find the matching lid and let's make we make sure we've got all of that. So that's tip one and two. Tip number three is we are going to stack and store these more efficiently. We're not just shoving this crap into the into the cabinet. We need to stack them. And ideally, you want to have like, if maybe it's one of your containers. I have one of my larger containers that I have all the lids in and they're, they're by size. So I know if it's a small one, it's going to be in the front. And if it's in the, the larger, it's going to be in the back, right? So I just want some efficiency here. You'll, you'll be so much happier when you go to try to get one of these Tupperware containers and you can easily find what you have. So that's it. It's simple, you guys. So go ahead, one, two, and three, that's it. Tackle the Tupperware and let's make it so it doesn't give you anxiety like it does me. And honestly, just sharing with you on a side note, the reason why I have so much anxiety when it comes to Tupperware is my family is not eat good at eating leftovers. So I always feel like I put them in Tupperware, I put them in the refrigerator, and then I end up taking them out of the refrigerator, throwing the food out and washing the Tupperware. So I feel like it was completely a waste and pointless. So I try to pare down and not have as many leftovers because we just don't efficiently use them. So it's just wasteful. So anyway, I don't want any more work than, um, you know, I need to have. So that's why I really cringe when I see, um, a Tupperware. Okay. So until next time, if you need more help, see the notes below. And I have a whole course that's on, um, me walking you through decluttering and organizing your entire kitchen and pantry. If you need help, click below, check it out. I look forward to seeing you in the course. If not, I will see you on the next two minute tidy tip.